Welcome to the third tutorial of the Songs for Change series on how to shoot a music video. Let's start to talk about those expensive looking toys that video makers use. You can shoot some good high quality images with a single lens reflex camera, a handy cam or a smartphone. Each of them has its pros and cons. Let's check them out. Digital SLR cameras are nowadays the most common tools for professional video making. The quantity of options for customization of your images given by the possibility to change the lenses and the many options for manual adjustments such as aperture, sensor sensitivity and image focus allow great control over the final result. However, we're talking about expensive tools that are not easy to use. If you choose to shoot your video with a DSLR, you will certainly get cinematic images but you will first have to get to know it very well and practice a lot. A good easier to use alternative is a handy cam. Many families have wanted to capture their happy moments, such as birthday parties or ceremonies, because of the great simplicity of use. You point it in the direction of the subject and shoot. In most cases, your handy cam won't allow you to create peculiar effects, such as focus changes, and it would automatically choose the options that allow you the best brightness. But that doesn't make them worse. In fact, most of them take very high quality images. However, today, the most common and widely used video shooting tool is the smartphone. Most mid-range smartphones today function as a compromise between the previous two options, as they include a basic use mode, which allows you to record on the fly what is happening before your eyes, without worrying too much about settings, and a pro mode, which simulates the functions of a DSLR. Some also have more than one lens, giving you more options for shooting beautiful images. If you decide to shoot a music video with your smartphone, first choose whether to hold it horizontally or vertically. In the former case, you will have a type of framing that resembles that of cinema, and is especially suitable if you have already decided that you will share your video on specific platforms such as YouTube or Vimeo. The second will give you a firmer grip on more agility, and you will get a style of video more typical of platforms such as Instagram or TikTok, which audiences associate with a useful language. Whichever platform you choose for your sharing, the most attention-grabbing videos are those shot in high definition, so be sure your device has such quality. In the next tutorial, we'll discuss how to shoot interesting images for your videos. Check it out!